Hey YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and it's time for another bottle cap charm tutorial. Ha <laughs> ha! Using a kit, a starter kit that was or maybe still available at your Hobby Lobby, marked down 75% because Hobby Lobby had another 75% off huge craft sale. I shared two live videos and I was surprised to find this kit for only $6.24. <laughs> okay, we are going to make some girly, cute bottle cap charms because it's been a while since I've made bottle cap charms. I think my last video was last summer and I brought a, I revisited my original shaker, bottle cap shaker charms that I brought to you guys several years ago. Well, I did another video, a shorter video of one of my bottle cap shakers, and that was the last time. But in this video, because I am so loving eyelashes, I've brought several videos, including, okay, check this out. I love my bootleg faux chalk couture <laughs> wall hanging well i you can see this bottle cap eyelash charm right here and this is what we're going to make and i love it because it looks mysterious right and it's so appropriate with my right like the one wall hanging but here you are looking at some variations so you see this one both eyes, and then you see a single eye one, which is different from the one on the wall hanging. It all depends on which side of the bottle cap you want to use. If you want to use flattened bottle caps or unflattened bottle caps, if you want to use one eye or both eyes, it is entirely up to you. Okay, so this kit is cool, you guys, because you not only get bottle caps, split rings and you get chain that you can cut into different sizes and the bottle caps of course but you also get these two tools and I tell you okay this tool here it's a hole puncher and you know I will grab my other hole puncher that I purchased individually I paid more for that hole punch than I did for this entire collection if you are able to pick this up on clearance get it but if you don't find it on clearance, you can use a coupon and get it at a discounted price. So it comes with a hole punch. It also comes with this tool, and I, I didn't have this tool. This helps to open, open up the split rings. And I have to say, I like it. In addition to, once again, everything else that I have shared. Okay, what you will also need... I am so loving eyelashes, you guys. Uh, in, was it December? I shared a mini eyelash shopping lot. So I shared ribbon and um, this stamp that you can also pick up at Hobby Lobby. Love it. Oh, you know what? I also made some Valentine greeting cards using the real eyelashes and inside... I use that stamp, right? I just love it. So I guess eyelashes are a trend. And I fell in love with the eyelashes last year when I played around with my gingerbread creations. But you need to pick up these eyelashes if you want to create my mysterious eyelash bottle cap charm. I just love it. Look at that. It looks so mixed media. But that charm can be worn as a necklace. You can make earrings out of it, embellishments. But you are looking at a whole lot of eyelashes. And I will have these linked below. I have another idea of using these eyelashes, taking them to a total another level. Now, some of you might have these in your stash because you might have them on. You might wear them. But I'll have them linked below. And you get 8 or 10 different styles. So each one of these cards have a different style of eyelash. You got your thick. You have your thinner ones. Once again, I'll have those linked below. Okay, let's get started. Because this 
this is an easy peasy project here. We will need to flatten some bottle caps. Once again, looking at these, I did not flatten those. We're going to use this stamp here. I've had this stamp for years. It's by Hampton Arts. It's, I guess it's from the Diffusion line by Diana Kovix. There's no name, but I've had it in my stash. And I'm sure it's retired, but you can find all things on eBay depending on when you search. All right, you guys, we are going to flatten flatten bottle caps using my non-alternative, wait, I forget what I call it. My alternative, wait, <laughs> I still forget what I called it. Non-warping alternative plates for my Gemini Junior. You guys have to check out my latest video. I am in die cutting heaven with my new sandwich. I basically use two Sizzix Precision Plates. I will have these linked below. But I do recommend that you check out my latest video showcasing these plates. You can check it out right now if you click in the upper right-hand screen corner of the video. All right, you guys, I have shared videos flattening bottle caps different thicknesses using the Gemini Junior, but it's even easier now. <laughs> okay, so I am going to take, watch how simple this is, you guys. I'm going to take two bottle caps and simply going to sandwich them between my two plates. Yep, only two plates. I have cut out many bottle caps using different machines, the Cuddle Bug, the Big Shop Pro, the wizard, the original Spellbinders wizard, which up until I came up with this sandwich, to me that was just the best way, the easiest way to make flattened bottle caps, but this is even easier. Look at that, you guys. I have two, well, you know what? They were touching, because this one is not a, um, not a perfect circle. So when you do put these in, you want to make sure they're not touching. But look at that one. Perfect bottle cap. Look at it. Just perfect. Using just these two sandwiches that I no longer have to worry about warping. And we also will need, you need a special ink. Whenever you stamp on a non-porous surface, you need to have a special ink that will stamp on surfaces like bottle caps and the ink I'm using is stays on it's a permanent ink all right and then my stamp now I forgot I made these over a month ago and they're not difficult I have to keep looking at my prototype here because I okay yeah let's first color if you want to color your bottle cap it's really easy you can use alcohol markers and that's what and I'm like going to, to use do now this wide tip when I color my bottle caps because it's bigger, so it's faster. Now, you can apply more than one coating if you like. And if I wanted to, I could color inside. I could color on the back, but I'm not going to do any of that. So give that a second to dry. You know, let's add a little bit more there. All right, now if you guys are interested in my prior bottle cap tutorials, oh my goodness, I do, I do some cool things with bottle caps. I'll have a playlist linked below. All right, so we are going to use this stamp and I think I want to use the left eye. Now your stays on ink comes with a plastic cover do not throw it away. I used to throw mines away. You don't want to do that because it, this is a special ink and you do not want it to evaporate and dry out. So you want to put your cover back over it before you apply the actual main cover. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the part I want to. I'm going to ink up the part I want right to stamp. Here, you can see I have some... Um, alcohol ink there. If I want, I could take 
pure alcohol or regular alcohol and clean that up, but I'm not right now. Going to stamp right inside. A gentle press and there's my eye. Now, if I didn't like the placement of that eye, what I could do is once again, take rubbing alcohol and I could actually clean off all the stamping and the alcohol ink but i i like that okay so let's choose oh you know what before we apply the eyelash let's go ahead and punch our hole you want to determine where you want so i'm just going to punch my hole in that groove okay but what i ended up doing i'm not sure if you can see that I have slanted my bottle cap. Yeah, can you guys see that? I mean, it looks cool, <laughs> but you can see my hole right there. And now it's not a perfect circle right there. So what I'm going to do, because I don't have that issue with this bottle cap. What I'm going to do is punch out my hole first. And then I'm going to flatten this with the Gemini Junior. See, I've punched my hole. I'm going to flatten that and come back and we'll pick up where. Okay, so where here's my new flattened bottle cap. I recommend that you punch your hole out first and then flatten your bottle cap if you are concerned about doing like I just did, punching out the hole after it's flattened and messing up the integrity of your circle just punch the hole out first that'll take care of that but you have to remember now because i have my hole right there now i have to pay attention to orientation okay so let's whoops let's stamp this again and i don't have to press hard or long check that out I like that. Okay, I'm going to put my covers back on my ink pad. And now let's... So now let's pick out... This is the fun part. We are playing with eyelashes. And I think this time I want to go with a thicker one. So let's go with this set here. And I'm thinking I probably used two eyelashes on my example I shared. Now these eyelashes, they come with sticky on them. So I, I didn't, I don't think I applied additional sticky. But if you want to, you can. All right, so to apply the eyelash, they're sticky along, along there. And I'm simply going to... press the sticky in the groove the eyelashes they bend oh look at that I love how that looks they do bend nicely this might take practice though just like putting on these eyelashes on your natural eye but once you get it position down in there you can oh i like that look at that you guys i love the look of this one once you get it in there just press the glue in there you could also apply additional glue look at that if i want to i can keep it just like that i like that oh wow this eyelash operates differently from the thinner one that is so cool okay so should we add another one let's add another one if you want to you could cover the entire perimeter with eyelashes and if you wanted to you can mix your eyelashes too wouldn't that be fun all right let's let's see let me turn it this way i just like that that is so girly this is so girly. I love it, love it, love it. I also made some mixed media tags. 
using these eyelashes. I have yet to bring you guys that video. I might give a sneak peek. Okay, look at that, you guys. Oh, can you guys see the eye? I'm wondering if I should have, you know, I'm going to remove. Well, no, I like it. It looks mysterious. I was going to say I should have brought the eye up a little higher. And then I thought, okay, I'll... I'll remove the second eyelash and put it here. But no, I like that. Ah! And then, uh-oh. Okay. Make sure it's pressed all the way in there. If you're going to handle this a lot, I do recommend adding more, more glue. But I can open up these eyelashes if I like or close them. I love it. Look okay, at why that. not, right? <laughs> Let's take... <laughs> this eyelash brush and comb. Let's brush and comb our eyelashes since these are real. And if you wanted to, I guess you could color. I added paint to a pair of eyelashes, painted them yellow. You could add glitter. I I did that. Well, I added a sheen of glimmer using my glimmer pens. Add a little sparkle, but I like that. Okay, let's move right along because we need to play with this tool here. I had never used this tool before, and I hate, I hate split rings. I hate it so much. I did a video um, sharing alternative things to use to make charms instead of split rings because... I don't know. It's just so hard for me to open these and close them. But this particular tool makes it a lot easier. Okay, so this is a split jump ring. I think it might be called split. Well, I don't know why it's called split. But anyway, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it looks like there's two rings that's been glued together. And what this tool does, this tool opens up or splits the rings so you could easily wait a minute i think i might be missing a step what am i missing nothing okay so this tool splits the ring open and then you have to I'm a newbie at this, you guys. You have to figure out how, how to hold it comfortably. But you have to get... You got to get your, your ring through the hole. All right, you guys. I like this tool. I was able to use it for other charms that I made, but I am having the most difficult time attaching this split ring to where I have my hole positioned. So you know what? I'm going to cheat because I don't have time to fight with this stuff, right? This is a larger jump ring that I've had in my stash and I like it because it's large so I can hold it comfortably in my hands and I'm going to use it and I'm going to close it. Now, it's not the strongest. It'll probably open up, but I am A-OK -okay with that to use. But then again, I don't like it. It's so big, huh? But for the purpose of this video, I will. OK, so you get several of these large chains that you can cut down. Now, I have these chains in my stash and I didn't know how to use them because they have these these caps. Where are the caps? Oh my goodness. They have this cap right here and I didn't know how to use it. And it's really simple. It's really simple to cut this and it's simple to work with these caps. Okay. So you see that there and you can buy these little thingies. I forget what they're called. You can buy those individually. The way to snap off your chain is you have to pull, I'm going to pull the right side of my chain. I'm going to pull it up. 
and I just pulled out the right side. Do the same thing to the left side, except I'm going to put it in my right hand because I'm right-handed. And you just simply, you bring that little ball at the tip out of it. And you keep these. I have a bag of those somewhere. And then you cut down your chain to the size you want. To put this little piece back on, it's simple. You take the end, that ball at the end, and not sure if you can see what I'm doing, but between each ball, you have a little bit of chain or put the end ball in this opening right here and just snap, snap it back in. I mean, it's really easy, you guys. You'll figure it out and you can do that to both sides after you thread your chain through your jump ring and then do the final clasp. You can also paint these chains using the alcohol. All right, you marker. guys, a final look at my mysterious eye, mysterious eyelash bottle cap charm. I like these. I do. You can create a varied look. Once again, depending if you use flattened or unflattened bottle caps, the type of eyelash you use, and if, well, you can apply your stamping to the front or the back. You can apply your eyelashes to the front or the back. You could use just one bottle cap and one eye, or you can make a set like these so many different possibilities right and once again you could use alcohol to color your bottle cap charms your chain which i did not do here i love these i love the you know i might wear one i think i might make a necklace right i wouldn't mind wearing this set but i have to figure out how to i'm going to have to glue these two together so they don't move when I wear them. But these could be earrings, necklaces, book charm dangles, right? I'm going to use some of these to make some craft room little bucket dangles. You could also use these as embellishments. These are super duper fun. And then what I did not do yet, I will turn some of these into shakers as well. Of course, you can decorate both sides so I if I wanted to I could have stamped eyes inside and have eyes and my eyelashes working both sides I love it okay you guys if you are interested in my other bottle cap tutorials because I have I got a handful of them including my famous they're famous now right bottle cap shaker charms by the way I want to thank all of you who give proper shout outs who link back to my tutorials. I thank you so very much. I do run across quite a few YouTubers in particular who have adopted my original bottle cap shaker charm idea who don't give proper credits. So I thank all of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you who do. So if you like this video, why not like it? Give me a thumbs up. Do remember that I I will have these eyelashes along with the Sizzin, Sizzix precision plates linked below in my description box. So do check that out. Feel free to share this video. Feel free to adopt my idea. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video and be on the lookout because I have other eyelash videos coming your way and be on the lookout for my mixed media tags using eyelashes. I've already done it. I just have to edit and upload and do all that good stuff. All right. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.